Hi, I'm John Napolitano, CEO of U.S. Wealth Management, with Ed Doyle, President and Founder of Real Food Consulting. Hey, John, how are you? Good, man. So listen, in the last segment, we learned about low margins and why a great restaurant may run at a 4% margin on a good day because of, you know, quality of food, cost of labor. And I want to focus on the cost of labor issue for a moment and just how important that is to running a sustainable, high-quality store. Sure. Well, labor is the hottest topic out there right now. We have all these new restaurants that are opening. Uh, it's hard to get people. It's hard to get quality people, and it's even harder to retain them. And it's always a battle for price because people are a little bit of a mercenary. You know, if you're paying them $10, somebody else will pay them 12 because people need to have the people. Uh, so what we really work at with our clients is thinking about productivity and the value of each employee and how you maximize that value, in, in, you know, inputs and outputs. Mm -hmm. So I think the industry as a whole always has labor pressure to, you know, keep their labor costs as low as possible. But where it makes up, you know, 30 to 37 percent of your total income, it's a big part that you need and to focus on. And on the other on. hand, is there a good career track in food I, service? I absolutely so if someone agree wants to go to Johnson & Wales and be a chef, you know, how should the parents react to that? Look, I started out 34 years ago as a dishwasher, so um, I fell in love truly from the ground floor of the business, but that's not how everybody needs to do it. You know, you can go to culinary schools, like you say, you can get in, in a good kitchen, don't even need to go to culinary school, you can get in and stage and, and work and break your neck and really show yourself as someone that's an asset. And you know, there's, I can think of five or six top, top restaurants in the city that have guys in senior management position, literally those guys started out in that same restaurant as a dishwasher. So, so there is a career enough track to build a retirement plan, oh, savings absolutely. with good benefits. I mean, if, if you think about average chef income, you know, a three million dollar restaurant is probably sixty grand, fifty to sixty grand. It's a good paycheck. Yeah, it's certainly above average. Uh, you know, when I started out in this business, it was a trade. It wasn't. There were no star chefs. Yeah. But now there are, and you can certainly build yourself a career. You can build yourself a career with great income and a good quality of life. It's not an easy job, but you fall in love with it, and you're willing to put the time in. And it's evident, isn't it, by the final product, who's got good help and who you got doesn't. It. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Ed Doyle. Thank you, John. You're welcome.